Okay, let's go. We are going to talk to you. What? Giants? It's another one of those statues come phone booths. They must have been popular in their time. Look, more fireflies! Do do do. Because yes. That's Quammon, the not so quiet giant. It's a, it's a deep well with cold, brackish water and some seriously demented albino fish. Whoa! You are big! You're just about the biggest person I've ever met! Quaman be a freak. No one be liking him. I didn't mean it that way, <laughs> Eastman. April, you know just what to say, don't you? I'm sorry. I like tall guys. Really, I do. You be the only one then, because no one else want anything to do with Quaman. Uh, How did you come to be on this island? He's leaning down. Long story. Do you want Quaman to be telling you? Story time. Waman be happy. He be working at the Circa in Corazon, where he be big attraction. What did you do? Waman be the world's strongest man. He be popular. People come to see him from all the Northlands. Some even from east of the Bay of Fire. But then there be an accident, and the circuit tell Quaman to leave, that he be dangerous, and that no one be paying to see him anymore. What kind of accident? Quaman's most popular feat 
be the breaking of large rocks with his fist. Oh, he probably hurt someone. Everyone would applaud when the rock be breaking. <laughs> then one day, the Columbia de Circa, to see the performers, he be saying, Quaman, I hear of him breaking a large rock with his fist. This I want to see. But my performance be over that day, and there be no rock to break. So the Circa Ringmaster Obron, he be saying, let's get a rock in here, any big rock at all. So they bring in this rock that Kwama never be crushing before. Kwama not be sure if it is a good idea, because the rock can be dangerous when it breaks. And it can. But Obron be saying, this you must do. The Caliph wants to see. We do not disappoint the Caliph of Khorasan. Or we lose our heads. So Kwame break the rock. And when it breaks. What, what happened? There'll be large pieces of rock flying everywhere. And one piece be hitting the Caliph and one his son. The Caliph be not seriously hurt. But his son be unconscious. And bleeding from the head. They say to Kwaman, run, get away from the Circa and Khorasan, or the Caliph will have his head. So Kwaman run, and he get passage on a ship leaving that night. When the ship passed this island, Kwaman be jumping into sea and swimming ashore. And now he be here. Hold on. so clumsy so dangerous he should not be among people he be only hurting them Aww. be all the while be kind letting Kwaman live and fish in their village but then Kwaman be stepping over young all the while almost breaking his shell the all the while tell Kwaman to leave village do not come back because he may kill an Orwal. They tell him to go as far away as possible. Kwaman be sad because he liked the Orwal and because Kwaman be having the best fishing place in all of Alaeus. He loses his friends and his food. What do we now? Kwaman fish in these wells here. But the fish that live down there be small and not very tasty. They are kind of albino. Could you find another place to live where your snoring won't disturb everybody on the island? No. Kwaman be having no other place to go except his old home in the Olawal village. But they be not wanting him there. Aww. Would you like to move back to the Olawal village? Oh, yes. One would be wishing that more than anything in the world. I saw an Orlewall down by the beach, just outside the village. It seemed to be in pain, but I didn't know what to do. Perhaps if you come along, you can help him out and get back in favor with the Orlewall people. Yes, perhaps Quaman can help. Even if the Orlewall do not want him back. Well, let's get going. Here it is, the, uh, or the wall. Can you help it? Perhaps Kwame can help. Poor or the wall. It be crying for help. Uh, Kwame see what be wrong. The or the wall not shed its shell when time come. And now it be stuck in the shell. Why didn't the other or the wall come to its assistance? Their claws be no good for this work. They be helpless. But Kwame can help. Kwaman be good with his hands. Kwaman be happy. Kwaman accept your graceful thanks, sir. Thank you. You be making Kwaman very happy. Kwaman accept your offer and be grateful to the all wall people. Thank you very much. What? What did he say? Why did you thank him? Olawal be inviting Kwaman to stay on the cliff above the village, where he can fish again. Kwaman 
be very, very happy now. You understand what it's saying? All of all, language be easy to understand. It be just click and clack and clock. I'm so happy for you, Guaman. Go on, don't let me hold you back. Huzzah! So now we need to get something from him. At least talk to him. Yeah, yeah. Quaman is fishing. Hey, Quaman, how's the fish biting? With its teeth, but not today. Why is that? Quaman be not certain. The fish always bite before, but then Quaman be having lure. Now no lure, just bait. What do you need to make a lure? Quaman can make lure with just anything, as long as it be colorful and not get heavy in water. You're a real DIY guy, don't you know? <laughs> Always be something wrong with a Quaman. That was actually a compliment. Oh. <laughs> fish to bite but if they do not Quaman still be happy can I borrow your fishing rod Quaman must catch fish first so he can eat after Quaman catch fish April can borrow fishing rod happy fishing thank you all right we need to find something for a little I don't really think we have anything oh wait Hold on. Could this wrapper work as a lure? Yes. Yes, with some work. It'd be perfect for a lure. Now, Guaman can make one and hopefully catch many fish. He eats a lot. Hello, Guaman. Hello, April. Happy fishing. Thank you. Well, now we need to explore a little more, I think. Uh, yeah, we gotta go back up to the jungle. There's nothing in the shipwreck. Talk to Stickman again. Later, guys. He's a stick man. He's a stick man. Later, guys. I should just go talk to the guy in person. Okay. No. It's another one of those statues come full. Something I can... It's a deep well with cold, brackish water and some seriously demented albino fish. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go to the beach again. Actually, I'm gonna drop a save. Call it there for a minute. Save there. Uh, because it's just a few minutes to New Year's, I'm gonna go celebrate it, and then I might be back. See you dudes. Alright, I'm gonna get a little further. So I'm here is... Later guys! That's a huge tree. There's a large object in the tree crown. 
Ah, there we go. Hey, look, yellow pants. You look like a real sailor. Uh, it's a big wooden crossbow, I guess. I wonder who built it and what it's for. If I could somehow get across to that path on the other side, I'd probably be able to make my way into the Alation village. Well then. Talk about the uh, That's what I said, Luke. As in the moon? The same. You intend to go to the moon using that thing? <laughs> and yes, that's the plan. <laughs> you guys are loonies. <laughs> if by loonies you mean visionaries, then yes, yes we are. How come you're not working on your lunar cannon now? Because of that infernal noise is why. But Quaman has moved back to the Orlowal village. He's not going to disturb you again, trust me. Really? How the heck did that happen? Nah, I don't care. The important thing is, we can work again. Thanks, lady. Alright, you lazy bums. Go up the tree. Move any faster? Any faster now. Did my Laura work okay? It'd be working very good. 
Walmart catch a large, tasty fish very quickly. He will be wanting a taste. Uh, no. No offense. I'm just not too fond of seafood. This not be seafood. It be human food. What's Quaman gonna be doing now? Quaman be sitting here until the sun sets. Then he be going. And tomorrow? Quaman be deciding that when he wakes up in the morning. Man, you got relaxing down to a fine art. Quaman not be knowing anything about fine art. He be a Philistine. <laughs> I'll see you later, Quaman. So will I. Looks like Quaman just had himself a solid lunch. That was quick. There are only bones left of his catch. The remains of Quaman's catch, and a very convenient shape it is, if I may say so. Like a hook. Fishing rod. I don't figure I'll be needing the rod anytime soon, but I'll borrow the line. It's Quaman's fishing rod. Uh, 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 come on. There we go. I think I do need my rope again. Uh, yeah, and I think I need to grab my rope again for this next part. Let's grab it up here. Yellow pants. Yellow pants. But on on. All right. We have a job to do. Listen up. I got us what we need. And now we finish this damn cannon. Go to work, people. Give us a few minutes, lady, and we'll be all done. Okay. Black screen of building. Dumpa, 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 dumpa. Jules Verne novel, perhaps. Mm. Yup, the cannon is done. I feel like sleeping for a year or two. Hey, all done. And we did have sleep. As usual, aside from shouting a lot and kicking mine and Woody's ours. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. The lunar cannon is now ready to be tested. Well? Well what? Are you going to do it? Do what? Test it. Test the cannon. Me? And get myself killed? I think not. But go ahead, be my guest. I don't think I'll fit in there. That ain't my problem. Well, convenience. The rope's got a hook-shaped fishbone tied to it. 
Fuck me in the sake. I'll just place the hook along the bowstring, like so. And let the rope trail behind it. Okay, we're ready to fire. Can I test the cannon? Be my guest. Um. Yup, the cannon is done. I feel like sleeping for a year or two. Takes a while to, uh... There's a slight updraft here. The wind is channeled through that chasm down there and blown out and up here. Well, I have nothing in my second page of inventory. It's a leathery creature with wings, like a mix between a giant bat and a pterodactyl. It must be one of the elation. It looks more like a warrior than a storyteller, though. I hope it speaks English. I mean, Altum. Is there another way to get into the volcano? No. This pass is the only way. <laughs> 